So I want to introduce you to the Slice Manual Pen Cutter. So this is like a craft knife, but the difference with this and your normal craft knife is that it has a ceramic blade. The blade is also chisel shaped in this particular model and has a rounded edge. This means that you can get um, more pigment taken off when you sort of scratch it out and also it's it's kinder on your paper so how I use it and a lot of people get a little bit confused this is one of the questions that the majority of people ask me is how do you use it how do you use it on your paper or your film or your pastel mat or whatever now you don't use it in a cutting motion so you don't use it right on the edge of the blade as a cutting motion because you're not really going to um, have any impact on your on the pigment or on the paper what I tend to do is if you're right handed you sit the blade in your hand like that upside down and then you just turn it to the left slightly um, this then gives you the opportunity to take pigment off from that's the, the underside um, and very very gently you don't need a, a lot of pressure at all and holding it like it's, a, like it's a pen or a pencil you just bring it onto your surface and you just very gently scrape the pigment out. Um, now you can use it for highlights, you can use it for tiny tiny lines, you can use it for whiskers, uh, you can use it for bringing some sort of pigment and everything into your pieces and what I've done is I've put a little compilation of some of the work that I've used the slice knife or the um, the slice tool on. You can see here where it's taking the pigment from. It's on the side, not the top. Um, so I've put a little compilation of videos together showing you how I use the slice tool on my work to create texture, how I create highlights to create texture and how I create the, um, the realistic looking fur. I also wanted to show you how easy it is to change the blade. This particular product comes with a double-ended blade um, and in this little sort of short video clip here I just show you very quickly how to how to change it. The blades are sharp so you do have to um, you know take care but they they're a safety blade so they don't it's not like you're using a stainless steel blade they are quite safe to use. Um, and I show you here just how easy it is just to sort of take the blade out, flip it over and then pop it back in again. So this was a leopard piece that I created on drafting film and you can see how I'm creating all of the different fur textures using the manual slice pen cutter. This piece was on pastel mat, white pastel mat board, um, and together with my coloured pencils, I can create some of that gorgeous fur texture. And again, creating fur texture in this cat. This is where Slice comes into its own. Um, adding in all of the texture that you can see in the forelock of this Fjord pony was just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, it just works so well. And even down to feathers on this parakeet, getting all of those tiny little details in with the manual pen cutter just makes it so much easier. Uh, it's a really fantastic product. <laughs>